everybody. Wow, finally. It's been a while since I've been on the Econ. Camo Korean over there, he, uh, he hit me up and said, hey, you want to hit the Econ? What would be a good day for you? And I said, well, I get Mondays and Tuesdays off. So here we are on a Tuesday morning. We put in, we got in here about 8 o'clock. Ah, uh, uh, it's a dead fall under here. Um, and uh, here we are. Going to go down from 419 all the way to Snow Hill. So, should be a really good day. Now, I am using my brand new camera. So, uh, the footage might look a little bit different from the previous uh, videos that I've done. Big change of pace from what I've been doing lately, and that's been doing a lot of our bioluminescence tours. Uh, I kayak almost five nights a week, you know, several miles a night, and uh, but uh, there's not a whole lot of time to film, and uh, so and then and then I, I sometimes don't get home until like four in the morning, so it's like uh, so it leaves me very little time to actually get out and enjoy, you know, this river or do some hiking and things like that. So. But I'm really happy to be out here today, and I'm excited to get into this. All right, guys. having a whole lot of luck uh, camel Korean he's caught a bunch of fish already I did get a couple bites but nothing no, I didn't bring anything into the boat however the current is really swift so I'm having a really hard time focusing on the, the camera focusing on you know overhanging branches and trees and maintaining uh, my my rods for fishing so it's I'm kind of out of practice but uh but for the most part I am having a good time and it is absolutely incredible out here Soto was the first one to bring those guys over. They escaped their enclosures, proliferated, and uh, now they're a nuisance here in Florida. But uh, I still like to see them. It's pretty cool whenever you see uh, these hogs out here. 
and uh, they're just foraging around and you can sneak up on them like that. In fact, I have never been on this body of water. I had no idea that this was even back here. Um, for the most part, um, that section back there is usually, you know, landlocked, you know, or, or it's not, you know, usually deep enough to traverse. So I paddled on in and, and what it looks like to me is that this pond has been here for a long time, but, um, but getting to it, it wasn't as possible every single time. So, but that's cool. I'm going to throw a lure in here for a little bit and then I'm going to catch up with Kama. Doesn't seem like it gets fished a whole lot. Check this out. I just got this guy. Just got this guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Really nice. Really nice fish. See there? But uh, I've got to maintain my position. I'm about to run into some trees, so I'm going to let this one go. All right. Yep, started raining. It's about, uh, shoot, I don't even know what time it is, but it's late afternoon. Typical afternoon thunderstorm, uh, but I put away the new camera, put it in a dry bag, tucked it underneath the deck, and uh, that one's safe for now. And I just uh, I'll roll with this one for a little bit and see how it goes. But uh, for now, uh, let's see. I caught a, a couple of panfish. Camel Korean got, caught a whole bunch of fish, man. He caught a bunch of bass, he, a gar, a couple of panfish here and there, and. Uh, and he's he always crushes it. So me, I'm just kind of trying to fight the current, trying to fight the the uh, trying to fish, trying to paddle, trying to film. So I'm multitasking like crazy, and I'm out of practice, like I said earlier. And and uh, so I haven't caught a whole lot, but I'm trying. But this river takes on a whole new life when uh, it starts raining like this. It's gorgeous out here. It's still kind of sprinkling on and off, um, but as soon as I know for sure that I'm not going to have any more rain, I'm going to break out the, the, the new camera and put it back on the tripod. Um, but uh, today is so much fun. It's just like I don't catch a whole lot, you know me. And uh, but at the same time, it's like I, I mean I caught a little brim back there, a little red breast, and. Um, by the time I could do anything, it was already like I had already pulled it off the hook and it slipped out of my hands and into the water. Hooked up on some kind of really big fish, most likely a gar, and uh, but it spat the hook. I was just about to turn on the camera for that. And So it doesn't look like we'll be getting any more rain in this area uh, for the rest of the afternoon. So I broke out the, the new camera because I'm really pleased with the quality of the footage. So.
back to the bridge. It's the end of the day. I think today has been a, a fantastic way to break in the new camera. And uh, I'm really pleased with it. The, the footage looks amazing. Um, so it's going to be a really, really good asset for Jungle J Adventures. I know I haven't been around a whole lot, but man, I get really, really busy. And working those nights like that, it really eats up a lot of your time. So, But I am grateful for it. So there will be a lot more stuff coming soon. So uh, hang in there, guys. Thank you for all your support. Like always, take care.